Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss learning vector quantization with the help of simple solved example. This is the solved example number one. Link for other examples is given in the description below. In this case, we need to construct and test the learning vector quantization net with the five vectors assigned to two classes. So, in this case, we have been given five vectors, and each of these vectors are assigned to one of the two classes, either one or two here. The learning rate given to us is uh, alpha is equal to 0.1 here. Now, this is the input given to us. So, out of this uh, input vector, so uh, what we do is uh, we will consider the first and the second one as the initial weight vectors, uh, and the remaining three will be considered as the input vectors over here. So, based on this assumption, uh, the learning vector quantization network will look something like this. Each of these vectors contains uh, four components. So, that's the reason we have x1, x2, x3 and x4 as the input nodes. There are two classes are there. That's the reason we have y1 and y2. y1 is with respect to first uh, uh, vector and y2 is with respect to second vector here. So, first and second were considered as the initial weight vectors in this case. So, this is for class 1 and this is for class 2 here. Now, the initial uh, uh, Weights looks something like this. W1 is equal to 0, 0, 1, 1. That is uh, this one. W2 is equal to 1, 0, 0, 0 here. That is this one. So, the same thing I have represented in the network also. Now, uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to start with uh, the remaining three input vectors and then we need to map these three to one of those uh, uh, clusters here. So, I will start with uh, this uh, vector that is uh, 0, 0, 0, 1 here. So, that is the first vector and the target in this case is equal to 2 here. So, now what we need to do is we need to calculate the Euclidean distance uh, of this input vector to the two, uh, you can say that the classes here. So, that can be done with the help of uh, this equation. dj is equal to summation of i is equal to 1 to 4, wij minus xi bracket square. So, why 4 I have taken here is uh, the number of uh, components in each input vector is equal to 4. So, that's the reason I have taken 4 here. Now, we will replace the value of i uh, from 1 to 4. The equation will look uh, something like this. Next, uh, we will take uh, the value of j is equal to 1 in this case. So, d of 1, that is the Euclidean distance from this input vector to the first uh, cluster is equal to, we need to replace the j from uh, uh, to 1 here. So, the equation will look something like this. In this equation, W11, W11 is nothing but what? 0 here and X1, X1 is nothing but what? 0 here. So, that is what I have written here. W21, which is equal to what? Uh, you can say that 0 here and then X2 is equal to 0. That is what I have written here. Similarly, I have written the remaining components and once you solve it, you will get D of 1 is equal to 1 in this case. Similarly, D2, wherever there is J, we need to replace it uh, uh, with respect to 2 here. And W12, W12 is equal to how much? 1 here. X1 is how much? Again 0. So, that is what I have written here. Similarly, I have written the remaining components. The D2 is equal to 2 here. Now, if you compare D1 and D2, D1 is less than D2. The meaning of this one is the new input vector or you can say that the first input vector is mapped to uh, first cluster here and J will be set to 1 in this case. Now, the value of J is equal to 1. That is uh, the new vector is mapped to first cluster but the target is equal to 2. The meaning is j is not equal to t here. Because uh, t and j are not uh, one another, what we need to do is we need to update the weights using this formula. Wij new is equal to Wij old minus alpha xi minus Wij old here. So, in this case you can notice I am using minus in this case. If they are same, I will use plus in this case. So, that is the difference in a learning vector quantization with respect to Cohen and uh, uh, self-organizing maps in this case. Now, uh, I will replace j is equal to 1 here uh, because we have mapped the input vector to 1. So, this is how the equation will look like. Now, I will replace the value of i from uh, 1 to 4 because there are 4 components are there. So, W11 new is equal to W11 old minus alpha X1 minus W11 old. We know all these values. We will put it here. We will get the W11 new is equal to 0 here. Similarly, W21 new is equal to 0. W31 new is equal to 1.1. W41 new is equal to 1 here. 
now we need to replace uh, the old weights with respect to new weights so these weights will be replaced with this they will look something like this now we will continue with the next input vector that is this one uh, the target for this uh, input vector is one here again we need to calculate the euclidean distance using this formula here we need to calculate uh, d of 1 d of 1 uh, Again, we are using the same equation. There is no change uh, with respect to the previous uh, input vector, whatever we have used, the same equation I am using here also. Only thing is we need to put the values uh, from this weight vector and the input vector. Now we will be getting uh, D1 is equal to 4.21 here and uh, D2 is equal to uh, 1 we are getting. Now once you compare D1 and D2, D2 is less than D1. The meaning is that this input vector is mapped to second cluster because of that j is equal to 2 here but what is the actual target target is equal to 1 and uh, in this case again j is not equal to uh, t here because uh, j and t are not equal to one another again we will update the weights uh, using uh, this equation where we are using uh, minus in this case uh, the value of j is equal to 2 so j will be replaced with the 2 here this is how the equation will look like i will be replaced from 1 to 4 the blue 1 2 nu is equal to again uh, we will put the value of i is equal to 1 in this equation we know all these values we will put it here the answer in this case is equal to 1 here similarly w22 nu is equal to minus uh, point, uh, 0.1 here w32 nu is equal to 0 w42 nu is equal to 0 here so we have updated the w2 in this case we will replace the old weights with the new weights they will look something like this now uh, we will continue with uh, the next input vector this is the next input vector here uh, for this uh, input vector the target is again one in this case we calculate the distance using the same formula the formula i have already explained in the previous uh, input vectors uh, d1 is equal to in this case uh, 2.01 and d2 is equal to 3.21 here again we will compare d1 and d2 in this case d1 is less than d2 the meaning is this input vector is mapped to first cluster that is the reason j is equal to 1 here and if you see the value of t both t and j are equal with one another because uh, t is equal to j in this case uh, we will use this equation to update the weights here in the previous case we have used minus in this case we are using plus here that is the only difference first we need to replace the value of j uh, to 1 here now we need to replace the value of i from 1 to 4 uh, we need to calculate w11 new w21 new w31 and w41 new here they are equivalent to 0 1.1 1 1.09 and 0.9 here now we need to replace uh, this uh, uh, w1 with respect to these uh, new weights here they will look something like this now what we have done is uh, we have done with uh, the first epoch uh, in this first epoch uh, this uh, input vector and this input vector were wrongly classified because this was classified as 1 and this one was classified as uh, 2 here and this one is correctly classified it is classified as 1 here now what we need to do is we need to repeat uh, these uh, epochs uh, again and again until all these input vectors were classified correctly here once all the input vectors were classified correctly whatever the weights we will get at the end of the day they will be the final weights of uh, training of learning vector quantization so in this video i have uh, done with only first epoch the same thing has to be repeated again and again until all the vectors were classified correctly in this case i hope the concept of uh, learning vector quantization is uh, clear if you like the video do like and uh, share with your friends Press the subscribe button for more videos, press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.